Hello everyone, welcome to the website Cash Investment. Today in this video, I'm going to share the Park Dot Asset Hub is available today, and I'm going to show you how to send Dot transfer USDT and create asset on it. And um, so the former state mint and the state mine. Now we have the asset hub on both Polkadot and Kusama. You can check the official announcement on this link. So now you need to hold some USDT on the asset hub in order to receive the USDT. So on the Polkadot asset hub, you need to hold 0.7 USDT and the Kusama asset hub, you need to hold 0.001 USDT. And so anyone can create an asset on the asset hub. So be careful, make sure you are using the right ID. So now I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, go to the JS extension. You can find the asset hub now. Um, so there is also bridge hub and uh, you can check that. The former state mean basically is here. Uh, and there's no dot on the state mint for me. Um, so in order to use that, you can send some dot. Go to the proc dot. There is a tiny port. Now it's enabled. You can send some dot from your rene chain so i'm going to send one dot to the asset hub and so this is going to take a little bit time and uh, then you should be able to get the dot on the statement so go back to the statement here is the dot i have and so now after that now i'm going to show you how to check the usdt so USDT is an asset, go to the network assets. So here you can find all the assets, including the USDT and USDC here. USDT is 1984, so make sure the ID is correct um, because anyone can create the assets. I'm going to show you how to do that. Click balance and here you can find the USDT. DT. And so since I already have a maybe USDT on the state mint, you can see that and uh, you can also send it to other account. The address is the same as your POC dot address. And so now I'm going to show you how to create your own asset. So it's quite convenient and easy. You need to choose asset ID, any ID you can use as long as nobody used that ID before. Uh, and you can also use any asset name or the symbol. And so that's all for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.